What's up, so this is Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. I'm outside right now, and what you're looking at there is a sort of an oil down. And what I have in my little repertoire today is crayfish cooked in a coconut curry sauce. And the little white things you see there, those are cassava dumpling spinners. Stay tuned, you're going to want to try this video, man. It is just amazing. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I don't want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. And before we get started, I have the crayfish or crawfish. You know, I, I looked on Google and Google says it's pretty much the same thing. So I guess it's the preference. I, I don't know, but anyhow, I have it here soaking in water. I went in with some lime juice to wash it nice and clean. And I'm gonna show you a little trick. I don't know if it's gonna work because these were previously frozen. We can't get this fresh in Canada, not that I know of. But if you want to take off the sort of, you know how you devein a shrimp? All you would do, you notice how there's three fins? You would take that center one and you would pull back pull back on there and you notice how it's coming out well I don't know if you guys can see it because it's being difficult but there you go that is how you devein a crawfish it's now time to to season the crayfish I'm gonna go in with black pepper a nice dose of that black pepper and all the ingredients I use here today will be mentioned down in the description of the video and it's also going to be available on caribbeanpot.com a nice heaping tablespoon of Caribbean green seasoning and that is just a blend of all the herbs along with some peppers and garlic and stuff like that that we love using in the Caribbean uh, tomato scallion and one scotch bonnet pepper I like it a bit spicy you of, of course can tailor it to your own liking we're gonna give this a good mix but first we need some salt in there so in goes that salt and you know with this because it has that shell on there you really don't need to marinate this for a long time because the marinade really won't do do much for for marinating purposes the marinade that is so give that a quick mix but however that marinade that we put on there that green seasoning and the pepper and stuff like that it will add a lot of flavor later on we really do need that and the tomato that we put in there that acidity is going to help balance things off later on especially when we go in with that coconut milk Let's organize the dough for the um, for the dumplings. And I've got here three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, and I'm going in with a cup and a half of cassava flour. Ooh, smoky, dusty, all kind of thing, boy. I'm gonna go in with some salt. We're gonna move that around a bit just to incorporate everything. And if you want to sift that flour in there, you can certainly do that. Next up, we're going in with water just to create that. I want a nice, soft, almost wet dough, to be honest with you. I added a bit more water there. And we're just going to start kneading that until everything comes together. It will take a few minutes and you see it's already coming together into a bit of a ball there. So keep working that until everything comes together and then what you would do when it does come together you put damp paper towel over it and allow it to rest. Here we're once again in the backyard and I don't know if you guys saw me cook on this before but this is a, what we call a coal pot in the Caribbean so the air feeds through that hole there 
and the oxygen helps to generate that nice fire I got going there. Start off with some coals and then I put some a few pieces of ash on there, some wood. And that is something my grandma, my great grandma, they would all cook on in the Caribbean. So a little bit of history there for you guys. It's very windy out, so I do apologize for the wind that you're hearing there. But I've got two tablespoons of vegetable oil in there and I'm going to go in with half of a an onion, a pimento, a couple of pimento peppers, and about five cloves of garlic. And the pimento pepper and garlic came from my garden right here. These are the pimento pepper trees here. And I'll just show you guys. We had I had the garlic down there. I don't know if you guys saw my garden video, but nice organic garlic this is all the firewood i use here for grilling for smoking and that is the garlic that's where the garlic came from so nothing from china it's just goodness and sharing with you all here yeah and you can obviously cook this indoor i just like cooking curry on the outside i'm gonna go in with my curry powder now and that is my own home blend i do like the sort of madras stuff coming out of the caribbean as well and we want to cook that for about three or four minutes to take the rawness out of the curry. And you got to be mindful not to burn the curry either. We want to cook off that rawness, but we don't want to burn it. So this is here. This is where I'm going to go in with all of that seasoned crayfish. Right away, you want to mix that all together. To add that richness and to bring it all together. After all, this, after all, this is a bit of an oil down that we're doing. We're going in there with some coconut milk. And because we got dumplings going in there, I'm going to go in with a bit of water as well too. Give that a stir. I want to bring that back up to a boil now. And now if we could just switch our attention over here for twos, I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to make some spinner dumplings and that is the flour. So we're just going to pinch off. We're going to grab a small bit. We're going to roll it. And there we go, nice little spinner dumplings. Let's tuck that in there nicely. I'm gonna make quite a few of these and we're gonna put those into the pot with that nice coconut curry crawfish. Hey, there's real food here today. We've got that bubbling happening there now. So in goes those spinner dumplings. Just for this lovely sort of oil down that we're doing. That is why you know, we gotta make some space to pour those dumplings. That is why we have all that liquid in there. And the cassava and flour will help thicken up the gravy as well too. So don't fret too much about that at this point. I'm just shifting them aside so I have enough room to just float the spinners in there. Finishing it up there with some some parsley. The dumplings are nice and fully cooked now. Sent to soak in all that lovely curry gravy, coconut curry gravy on the bottom there. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. We were outside today. We use a traditional coal pot, and we've got a nice one pot this year. Oh yo yo! This is pure eating here. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. My little baby is here. We've got cookbooks, guys. WestIndianFoodCompany.com. Get your copy today.